Hello everyone, we're back at it again with another episode of Cooking with Yo-Yo. Today we're going to learn how to make an all-American breakfast, which consists of pancake, eggs were in there, and bacon who are in there. So uh, first, you obviously need to get the pan going on. Got to get everything warmed up and delicious. Remember, this is the most dangerous part of the whole experiment, because the pan does not like to be warmed. Alright, so how to do this, you get your trusty little batter, your ladle thingy, and make sure all the sides are off. So you know you have your, your, your thing going on. You don't have to do anything crazy, you just put it right in the middle. You have a solid pan. This part is actually fairly quick. If you keep it on a moderately from middle to middle high temperature, uh, it cooks pretty quick. You don't have to leave it too long. You don't need to get the edges all crusty, nothing like that. So, about one minute or so, you start seeing that the surface starts getting bubbles. That's a good sign. Now, from this angle, it's kind of hard to tell from the bottom, but can't really do anything about it, and I won't do anything about it. But every once in a while, you can check from the bottom, see how it's progressing. It's pretty good right now. And it might still be wet, but that's the point. See? Got a nice little pancake going on. Now, from here, which, some extra pancake treats, that, well, that's what I'm calling them, it's done. You can flip it pretty easily. It's already ready to go. There we go. See, as you can tell, pancake's ready to go. Flip the pancake a bit. Alright, so after that, you get your favorite pair of eggs that you really want to get. Now, the eggs depend on how you want them. You can have them scrambled, sunny side up, sunny side down, fuck it, even hard boiled, if you fancy that. But I'm a person to make them scramble today. So now we'll show you back to the pan. So now back of the pan, which was literally two seconds that I did not feel like doing, you can get it in a bowl. You don't have to. I don't want to because I don't care. So, just crack it right in. Alright, for our next experiment, I mean, if you don't like bacon, then you might as well stop watching now and leave, because <laughs> miss me with that. But uh, we're gonna give ourselves some some generous savings of bacon, just a good solid amount of bacon. I mean, you can't go wrong with bacon, and we're not doing one slice. Nah, nah, nah. We're putting more. Two two slices ain't enough. Nah, homie. Nah. We're going with three slices, cause this is bacon in America. Can you smell the freedom? So for bacon, you kind of have to keep moving around, but you have to remember, bacon does not like to be moved around. This boyo sizzles like crazy. Now, you may burn your hands just a little bit by the raw power of bacon, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's Gucci. So as you can see, the bacon is pretty much pretty goodly well we've done. All you need to do now is get yourself a plate or something, get this, uh, the, the kitchen napkin, tissue paper, whatever it's called, and you have to get it ready because that is too much grease on that pancake. So right now I have myself my good trusty bowl that I didn't feel like getting a plate out, and you slowly just get the bacon out any way that you can, and just transfer it to the bowl. Uh, be careful of sizzling oil. Like I said, they do not like people. People do not like it. Except for companies, because oil is amazing for them. Now, after you get all the good old-fashioned pieces of bacon out, you have to make sure you, you turn off the pan and everything. Make sure it's off, because that is hot. Do not, under any circumstance, put water in that. You will literally light the entire thing on fire. But as when you get your whole bowl of bacon going on, you have your little thing going on over here. Make sure you pat down the bacon. All, all good and good. Ouch. And obviously, if you want more pieces of bacon, I mean, you can always get more. 
I mean, it's honestly your own choice. And then finally, last but not least, a good little coating of maple syrup, whatever. If you're Canadian, you use Canadian, whatever you got. And that is your American breakfast.